Hello, hello. So today we've got a nice easy video looking at the various lights on an aircraft and what they're used for. So we'll start off in the Cessna which has the lights that you'll find on all aircraft and then look at a couple of others which may or may not be available. So the light switches can be found down here in the Cessna and you can see that five of these switches are marked as being lights. So let's start on the left and work our way across. The first light is the beacon light. This is a red or orange light which flashes intermittently. This is a warning light to people on the ground. When this light is on, that basically means do not approach the aircraft. This is switched on when the engines are about to be started, and it's kept on when the engines are running for the entire duration of a flight. After the plane has landed and the engine has been switched off, the pilot will then switch off the beacon light when he or she feels that it's safe for people to approach the plane again. The next light is the landing light, and it should be pretty obvious what this is used for. So the landing lights are powerful, bright, white lights which point forward and are used to illuminate the ground during the approach and landing. You will usually find them built into the leading edge of the plane's wings. The next switch is for the taxi lights. These are smaller white lights which are used for taxiing on the ground in dark or low visibility conditions. These normally sit on the landing gear and don't illuminate a great deal, just the immediate ground in front of the plane so that the pilot can read markings on the ground or spot any obstacles. If you imagine driving the car, your full beam headlights would be like having landing lights and your normal dipped headlights would be like having taxi lights. Next up you have navigation lights. So these relate to the coloured lights on the wingtips. You have green on the right side, or the starboard side, and red on the left, or the port side. You will also find that boats and ships use this exact same colour system. These lights are used to indicate which direction the plane is travelling. So if you can see red and green like this, the plane would be pointing away from you. If you see green then red, then it's pointing towards you. If you can only see green, then it's pointing to the right, and only red means it's pointing to the left. There's a great little phrase to remind yourself which light sits on which side. The phrase goes, the captain left his port on the side. And if you didn't already know, port is also the name given to a type of red wine. So if you can remember that phrase, you'll always know that red is on the left and green is on the right. The final light switch in the Cessna is for the strobe lights. So these are the lights that you probably recognise most easily on an aircraft. These are powerful but small white lights that flash intermittently on the wingtips and sometimes also on the tail. These increase the aircraft's visibility when flying. Generally, these lights are enabled when an aircraft moves onto a runway and they're used for the duration of a flight until the aircraft lands and pulls off the runway during the taxi they can be turned off. One more important one is the panel light switch which lights up the instrument panel allowing you to read the instruments and find various switches and controls at night time. More often than not you'll find this panel light switch along with the other light switches however in the Cessna it's hiding just here. So there's the most important lights that you'll find on an aircraft and these are the ones that you'll find yourself using on almost all flights. There are a couple of non-essential lights which are also available. You have recognition lights. Now I struggle to find a definitive answer on what these are but I think that they are low intensity static white lights which point forward to increase visibility. They can also be toggled in the event that you lose radio communications. You can fly over an airport and use the lights to communicate through Morse code, for example. Again, I'm not sure if that's exactly correct. The other non-essential light that you'll see in some aircraft is the logo light. This is simply for big jets who want to show off their company brand. Logo lights illuminate the tail fin and the logo on it. It doesn't have any practical use for flying. Now interestingly enough, when I was testing the lights for this video, I found that the taxi lights, the recognition lights and the logo lights didn't work on multiple aircraft. 
Now, I'm not sure if that's a bug in the game or if it's possibly just a problem with my install, but that's an issue that I noticed. Anyway, that's everything that I've got on lights. In the next video, we'll have a quick look at barometric pressure, which is essential for getting an accurate altitude reading when flying. Hope to see you there. Many thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.